In this tutorial, I'll teach you all about how to use and create symbols to help save time when designing and creating. You'll learn how to create and edit a symbol, how to build and import a symbol library, and how to share that library across other systems. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. When we talk about symbols, it can mean one of two things. Sometimes symbols refer to glyphs or special characters that you use alongside text, for example, a pound sign or currency symbol. But in this tutorial, we are referring to symbols as an object or set of objects created by tools in CorelDRAW. Using symbols and creating symbol libraries are a great way to save a lot of time in the design process and reduce file size, especially if you have repeated use of the same symbol in your design files. If you edit a symbol in a CorelDRAW file, it will automatically update all other instances of that symbol throughout the document, so you don't need to update each object individually. We might use symbols when repeating logos, when using architectural or fashion design elements, cartography, and more. So let's say I'm creating this graphic map for a town called Green Valley. I want to create a few different symbols that I plan on using within this map. I have this little park icon that I'm going to copy and paste over to my map. And now I'll add a circle background behind it. And I'm also going to change the colors. Then I'll add a little shadow behind it as well. So I'm happy with how this looks and I want to use this to sprinkle park symbols around the map. To make these objects into a symbol, I'll click and drag my mouse to select both objects. Then right click and select Symbol and then Create New Symbol. Then name the symbol in the Create New Symbol dialog box. I'll name this Park and click OK. Now let's open up the Symbols Inspector by going to Window, Inspectors, then Symbols, or press Ctrl and Shift plus S on your keyboard. To place another symbol in the document, I just have to drag it from the Symbols Inspector onto the map. So I'll place a few of these around my map. Now let's say I want to make some edits to the symbol after the fact. Just click on any symbol, and then select Edit from the context-sensitive toolbar that will pop up. Here you can make any edits you want to this symbol. I can add another shape or design element to accompany this image, or make changes to the color or positioning of the objects, and so forth. Once you're done the edits to the symbol, just click Finish. This will bring you back to your document, and you can see that all of the other symbols in the document have been automatically edited to match the new symbol. This can save a lot of time in the design process, so you don't need to manually change all the symbols to match. Now I want to build a symbol library with a few different symbols that I plan on using a lot in different projects, like this graphic map. I'll open up a blank document, and I'm going to copy and paste the symbol we just created into this new document. Now I'll create a few other symbols quickly here that I want to have part of this library, and I'll save them each as symbols as we did previously. Once you're finished, click and drag your mouse to select all the symbols from the Symbols Inspector. Then click the Options button in the Symbols Inspector and choose Export Library. Then choose the drive and folder where you want to store the library. Type in your file name and then click Save. Once we've created our symbol library, we can import it back into CorelDRAW so we can access it easily for repeat projects. To do this, go to the folder tree of the Symbols Inspector. Then click Local Symbols or Network Symbols. Then click the Options button and select Import Library. Then browse to where you saved the library on your computer. By default, library files are referenced from their original location. Now if we go back to our map graphic we started with, I can go to the Local Symbols folder from the Symbols Docker, click the Symbols folder, and then choose the map library. And I'll have access to all the symbols I just created and can simply drag and drop them onto my graphic as needed. And just like that, we've created a symbol library that we can use again and again with multiple projects, saving ourselves a lot of time in the process. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. 
Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for CorelDRAW.